So I would treat this as a complete relaunch. I would still treat it as a launch. If even though you missed the honeymoon period, even though you missed that time, I would look at it. So again, you're going to want to do very specific keyword research. I actually have an entire like masterclass. This is like an hour video. There's an SOP involved as well. If you want to get that as a download, that's available on our YouTube channel. Highly recommend watching that. I go into like keyword relevancy. Keyword relevancy is huge. So you can, you want to pull those keywords. You want to do very specific advertising keyword research, dig into relevancy of keywords, dig into where does my product exactly fit in the market. I would hone in on that and I would launch those first. Our preference is to launch exact match keywords in the beginning. That way we can be a little bit more certain if we're say setting higher bids that we know which search pages we are you know, going to be spending our ad dollars on. And it really sort of helps us vet the product as well as the consumer market in relation to your products. So that's what I would do. Now that doesn't mean that we only stick with exact match. I've actually seen that hyper aggressive ranking only strategies, meaning like only doing exact match, main keywords, high bids. While that does help, you know, sort of get product ranking, that's the most effective strategy for ranking. One thing I've actually noted in like all of the accounts that I've audited is that if you only focus on ranking strategies, long term, the account suffers from lack of traffic or sessions. So you really need sort of like that broader perspective as well. So it depends on the performance of the exact match campaigns. Typically speaking, like a couple weeks in, we will start launching our phrase and our broad match. Other pro tips here is I would recommend what we call like staggering your bids, meaning higher bids on exact match, a little bit lower on phrase match and much lower on broad. Also be very aware that there's been changes to the way that broad match functions in sponsored product ads. So you're really going to want to make sure when you launch those broad match campaigns that you keep up with your negatives.